Barakatai Yahao, Barakatai Yahao Shah, Barakatai Yahao, Barakatai Yahao Shah. All praises to Yahao, Bashim Yahao Shah, Bashim Rikakadash. Yahao uh, being the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahao Shah being the name of His only begotten Son, who they ignorantly call Jesus Christ. And this is a, 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 a report and a, a message to the nations and to the hopefully elect, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the descendants of slaves scattered throughout the earth. Now, I'm going to start this off in um, Jeremiah chapter 25. Uh, let's see here. It says 25 and 30. Therefore prophesy thou against them all these words, and say unto them, The Lord shall roar from on high and utter his voice from his holy habitation. He shall mightily roar upon his habitation. He shall give a shout as they that tread the grapes against all the inhabitants of the earth. Verse 31 uh, A noise shall come even to the ends of the earth, for the Lord have a controversy with the nations. He will plead with all flesh, he will give them that are wicked to the sword, thus says the Lord. So the Lord has a controversy with these nations and to uh, give a quick summary of who these nations represent they are Satan the devil they are the adversary they are the deceivers to, towards the nation of Israel and the Most High and so he's going to deal with these people. Now let me get that in some to show how they are Satan. They are the adversary and they are the deceivers. Uh, Psalms chapter 2 verse 1 it says, Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? See they are imagining that they are going to deceive the Israelites. Verse 2 The kings of the earth set themselves and their rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed. So, against the Lord and against his anointed. Saying, verse 3, let us break their bands asunder and cast their cords from us. So, these other nations, or the, the kings of the other nation, are against the Most High in His nation, His chosen elect people. And so that's the element that you're dealing with, but He going to deal with these people. Now let me get Isaiah. Isaiah 34, it says, Come near you nations to hear and hearken ye people. Let the earth hear and all that is therein, the world and all the things that come forth of it. Verse 2, for the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations and his fury upon all their armies. See, he's going to battle with these nations. He's going to battle with these nations. He's not coming down here or he's not going to battle with no angels that he created. The angels that he created is not what the battle is all about. The battle is about these nations that's on the earth ruling with armies and trying to tell people what to do. Um, he said he have utterly destroyed them. So he's going to utterly destroy these nations. He have delivered them to the slaughter. He's going to slaughter you nations that's coming against the Israelites 
and against him. Verse 3, their slain also shall be cast out, and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses, and the mountains shall be melted with their blood. You see, that's what the Most High is going to do to these nations. He is going to destroy these nations. Now, let me get uh, Zephaniah and back that up with Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 8. It said, Therefore, wait upon me, says the Lord, until the day that I rise up against the prey. Who is the prey? For my determination is to gather the nation, the Salakia. My, for my determination is to gather the nation, that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour out upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured in the fire of my jealousy. See, that's who the battle is going to be with. Not no fallen angel named Satan. No, the nations are Satan. The nations are the devil, the deceivers. Okay, let's go to Daniel because Daniel debunks all that misunderstanding that they got out of Revelation because Revelation was talking about the nation. Daniel 2.44, it says, in, in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. See, he, he summed it up in a nutshell. That's what's going to happen. And then Daniel chapter 12. Let's see if uh, they're going to come and have a battle with angels. Uh Chapter 12, verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the, ch the children of your people. Talking to Daniel. The angel talking to Daniel. And there shall be a time of trouble, since as never was, since there was a nation, even to the same time. And at that time thy people, your people, Daniel, shall be delivered, every one that shall be found in the book. So only the righteous ones that's found in the book, they're going to be delivered. Because you go to Revelation, uh, I'm thinking chapter 20, it tells you that those sinners is not going to be written in the book, and those who take the mark of the beast is not going to be written in the book. But the Israelites that reject the mark of the beast and pretty much the mark of Satan, the devil, the mark of these governments uh, demanding them and giving them ultimatums uh, to do whatever they want them to do or they won't be able to participate in that kingdom. Whoever consent to those, these nations, these devils, you see, these uh, Satan's adversaries of God whoever submit to them or consent to them they won't be delivered they will be destroyed right along with the nation Satan the devil now uh, let's see here do I want to get that allegory um, so the second coming is right there it's talking about the nation. Oh, the other second coming verse. Um, let's see here. Joel chapter 3, verse 2, it says, And I will gather all nations. See, it's about the nation. And will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. That's the, the judgment, the valley of judgment, because Jehoshaphat, uh, meant uh, that God was to, was going to judge. It says, and we plead with them there for my people, my people, my people. See, not all the nations and not some freaking 
religion that so-called believe on the Savior has nothing to do with that. It's about his people that he chose. And for my heritage, see, this is a bloodline, Israel, which they have scattered. See, religious people wasn't scattered. People, a part of religion, was not scattered on slave ships, was not scattered to different captivities in slavery. Because verse 1 lets you know he's going to bring a, uh, bring back the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. Judah and Jerusalem went was scattered. And it say parted my land. Their land was parted. So this is not about no angels, first of all. Fallen angels that's going to be battling uh, Shah, who the ignorant called Jesus Christ, and his army. It's not about that. It's about the people that God chose and the one that was scattered around the world due into slavery. Now, it says, uh, where it, uh, it's another verse I want to get before I close out. Um, all the nations. He's going to gather all the nations. Well, he got Revelation 16. Revelation 16. Let it be known. This is what he's going to do. Revelation 16 and 14. It says, For they are the spirits of devils, working miracles which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of the great day of God Almighty. See, it's going to be a battle between God and the kings of the earth. That's Satan and the devil. Because they are, the Christianity will take you to Revelation 12. And they'll read verse 7 and say, And there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. So they'll make it seem like this dragon is Satan, the, some fallen angel. See, because it says the dragon fought with his angels. Not understand that angels mean messengers or it can mean hosts or armies. See, they don't, they don't, they twist that thing up. As long as they say angels in the book, they got you. Now you're thinking God fighting angels. He's not fighting no angels. He's fighting the nation. I just read 15, uh, 10 to 15 scriptures talking about him fighting against the nations. But Christianity and the wicked pastor. They gonna say, no, he not gonna fight the nation. He gonna fight the devil. Obadiah, let's say here, Obadiah, verse fifteen. It say, for the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathens, upon all the nations, the Gentile. All as though, as thou has done, it shall be done to thee. Thy reward shall return upon your own head. So he's going to give punishment to these nations and so he's going to pay them back for what they have done but i'm going to leave it there uh all praises to yahweh by hashem yahweh shah by hashem kakadash double honors to the elders pushing the truth peace to the elect worldwide our kingdom is at hand shalom